So, I'm on the phone last night with a friend of mine. This is a good guy. I haven't spoke to him in a long time. I think the first time I spoke to him was through a video. So, YouTube friends, man, you can't buy them. Well, you know, I guess you can buy some YouTube friends. But, a real, true, you know what? A tube friend. I'm not going to say YouTube friend. Call a true tuber friend. A true tuber friend will make that phone call. When you when you sound like you got a cold, they'll make that phone call. They'll make that phone call. Like, uh, I did a bunch of videos about some guy hating on me. And... <laughs> My YouTube nephew, cause they're all all you guys like Father Judgment. He's like an uncle. Uh, Boss Francis Coppola, that's my nephew. Uh, Sister Soldier, oh, Sister Soldier. Oh my God, I'm breaking out the old rap shit. Sexy Side Fly is my YouTube sister, the little sister. And y'all better leave her alone. She's coming back soon. Uh, Jay Ryder's like a cousin. Willie Pete is like my old brother. Um, and the list, list goes on and on. This is a, the lady named Ruby. She does poetry. She's like my auntie. And you, you go through these things because family's not what it used to be. I want to, I want to, I, I don't know where I, I skipped. This is the second time I've done this video. The first video I did, I started talking about. I'm not going there. I end up going there again. Look, so YouTube is like an extension of my family. Um, I don't have many family members. They're all scattered. Um, I truly believe family are those people that you allow to get close to you. Um, real family members will turn on you and screw you and fuck you over. Excuse my language. But those friends that get real close that you consider family, how many times have they turned and screwed you? Now, when you go back to YouTube and friends and tuber friends and real friends a real friend like that man said is that person you can call on the phone talk to when your wife is not happy with you you can talk to when you know you're just trying to hey man I got a son he's not listening um, I got young kids that call me not young kids is in 16 and 17 like some people have on the internet I don't have no kids call me like that these kids are 18 19 20 years old yes there can be a 20 year old kid and they call me and we talk hey OG what's happening I'm like man it's cool over here and you know what you doing man I'm just having a drink man you know you ain't supposed to be drinking yeah, yeah, but my wife is gone. Well, you better hurry up and get that can out of the house before. How you know I'm drinking a beer? Come on, man. You told me you don't like nothing else. I mean, when you got a friend, you know how to talk to him or her when they're hurting, when they need to listen, when they need a listener. You know what I mean? You, a, a real YouTube friend, man. Like, like me and, me and a friend of mine, we actually talked on the phone about as long as you and your buddy, if not longer. I think we talk longer. I don't know what you think, but I think we talk longer. And, you know, it's a trip. Because you hear that voice. Ah, oh, shit, this is my boy. Yeah, it's my man here. Oh, no, is he going to bust it off like he do? Yeah, <laughs> you do it. It's almost like calling your favorite Hollywood star up and the fucker can relate to you. Okay, here's, here's a quick one. <coughs> hey. Tom Cruise in there? Hey, Tom, what's up? Oh, man, are you not? Hey, I'm not coming down. No, no. no well, you, when's the next time you're going to be in town? Uh -huh. So how's Katie? Ah, uh, okay. Uh -huh. Well, Tom, you... you, you uh -huh. Yeah, Scientology, yeah, uh -huh. Oh, no, um, you know, I, uh, L. Ron Hubbard, I never did... You gonna send me the book? <laughs> hey, I will only read the book if you take me golfing. Okay, okay, I'll let you win. <laughs> you know, if if you could call Tom Cruise, what'd you say? You could call Oprah, what would you say? If you can call Soldier Boy, what would you say? Eat a dick. But now, whatever you did 
or ever whatever you could do a real true YouTube friend or a YouTube family member will call you hey man you're not you're not yourself are you alright yeah well you know well we talked about that we talked about that we know you know you know you you got to go back out there man you can't give up you have to go yes I know it's hard man but you know what you just got to bite your tongue man I know you were used to making thirty dollars an hour the only jobs that got around your pen nine and eleven but you have to get your money up I know I know yeah your wife don't want you doing videos my wife don't want me to do videos either but man you got to uh, pfft, come on mm-hmm yeah that's a good idea just do videos while she sleep then she'll go downstairs and think you're doing some sex stuff on the internet yeah yeah, yeah I got that too once yeah yeah webcams yeah women always think you're doing sex on webcams with other women yeah I, yeah but you know now that this YouTube team come out she can actually see my videos where my pants are on yeah yeah uh -huh. you know it's like these people on YouTube when you meet the right person like Father Judgment said, you screen and screen and screen and screen and screen and screen and con content, talk, 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 and you watch their content. Now, if they do some wild shit, you might not want to give your phone number up. But if they're 95% positive and you feel as if, you know what, hey, at least it can happen if I get a new phone number out of this motherfucker, you know what I'm saying? Go ahead. Because the only person you will hurt by not out, not extending yourself to be a friend of somebody, it's yourself. Sometimes uh, people will jump to give the phone number up too fast. Um, don't do that. Um, I have known people on this thing. I've given my phone number up. The first, the, I remember the first time I gave my phone number up. It must have been about eleven forty. No, matter of fact, it was later than that. I think my wife was out of town. And when my wife's out of town, I can't sleep. So I'm, I just did a video, and the dude, he commented, bam! I'm like, damn, that was quick. So I commented right back, thank you, man. And he commented right back. So I can't type worth shit. Well, I, put like this, I can type pretty good now. Not fast, but I, I can't spell worth shit. They never really did teach me anything in school. And their complaints was I was hard-headed and... Might as well not teach him shit. Fuck him. Let him go. So, I can't really spell that, that good, you know, but I can, not spell, but, you know, I tend to not want to. I tend to want to just use simple words to get to the to the point. So, let me give up. So, I give this guy my phone number. I'm like, man, call me. And I'm pretty sure he's saying, motherfucker, um, <laughs> on the other line, before he, had, before he even called me, I bet you he said, motherfucker. It is three something in the morning where I'm at, and this guy's like, "Call me." Oh shit, this is some weird sex shit, probably. And then when the guy called me, we just start talking about music and shit, and bam, he's the one that stopped me from continuing on that that weird shit I was doing two weeks ago. He he stopped me. He said, "Man, you, what the fuck is wrong with you?" <laughs> I'm like, dude, am I getting him? He says, nah, you're getting yourself, man. Let that shit go. This is creepy. You're getting you're getting creepy. People don't want to see that shit. They want to see you, man. They don't want to see you fighting anybody. And shit, I snapped out of it like, like somebody snapped a finger. If this man wouldn't have called me. He probably would have got 10 more videos of that bullshit. 17 videos on one subject of hate and drama is, is counterproductive. And it took a friend to slap me out of that shit. Like, what the fuck's wrong with you? I appreciate that. And if it wasn't for that, me giving that man that phone number, I probably wouldn't have any viewers. I probably wouldn't have nobody. And like, like Father Judgment, I can call him and tell him, man, I feel like shit. And he'll tell me, dude, straighten your shit up and you won't feel like shit. This is what you got to do, man. And you listen to a real friend. You believe and you feel and they uplift you. Some of these people on YouTube uplift you. Sexy Sci-Fly uplifts me. She's a good girl. She talks straight shit. It's real shit. And you've been to